Have you ever wondered about the life of a ruler who transformed an empire and left an indelible mark on history? Today we delve into the story of Suleiman the Magnificent, a story of power, vision and transformation that spanned continents and centuries. From his early life to his military feats, legal reforms and cultural influence, we'll explore the many facets of this remarkable ruler. So, let's embark on this historical journey to unravel the life and reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. Born in 1494, Suleiman was a prince in the Ottoman court, unknowing of the remarkable destiny that awaited him. As the child of Sultan Selim I, he was immersed in the world of politics from a young age. His education, steeped in the arts, philosophy and military strategy, was designed to mold him into a capable ruler. Suleiman's early life was not just about learning, it was about understanding the intricate dance of power and diplomacy. He observed his father's reign, absorbing lessons in leadership and statecraft. But it was his father's unexpected death that thrust Suleiman into a role he was still preparing for. In the year 1520, at the tender age of 26, Suleiman ascended the throne. The weight of the empire was now on his shoulders. It was a daunting task, but one that he was ready to undertake. His ascension marked more than just the beginning of his rule. It was the dawn of a new era for the Ottoman Empire, an era that would be remembered as the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. Suleiman was more than a ruler. He was also a military genius. His reign saw the empire's territories expand far and wide, a testament to his strategic brilliance. He masterfully orchestrated the capture of key cities, each conquest paving the way for the next. Among these were Belgrade, a strategic gem on the Danube River, and Rhodes, a bastion of the Knights Hospitaller. Tunis, too, fell under his rule, further establishing Ottoman dominance in the Mediterranean. But these were not mere acts of aggression. Each military campaign was a delicate blend of strategic planning, tactical execution, and diplomatic maneuvering. Suleiman knew that the strength of an empire lay not just in its military might, but also in the resilience of its cities and the loyalty of its people. His military campaigns were not just about conquest, but about building a robust, resilient empire. His victories on the battlefield were mirrored by achievements at home as the empire flourished under his rule. His military prowess led to the expansion of the Ottoman Empire, making it one of the most formidable powers of the time. One of the most notable events during Suleiman's reign was the Siege of Vienna. In 1529, Suleiman led an army of over a hundred thousand men against the city, a bastion of Christian Europe. This was a pivotal moment, signifying the farthest extent of Ottoman westward expansion. The siege, although unsuccessful, marked a turning point in Ottoman-European relations, underscoring the power and reach of the Ottoman Empire under Suleiman the Magnificent. But Suleiman wasn't just a military strategist, he was also a visionary reformer. Picture this, Suleiman the Magnificent amidst the conquests and territorial expansions found time to introduce sweeping legal changes within his empire. He didn't just focus on physical expansion, but also on societal betterment. His most notable contribution was the creation of the Kanun i Osmani, or the Ottoman Laws. This was a comprehensive legal code that covered everything from criminal and legal matters to marriage and property rights. It was a reflection of Suleiman's wisdom and understanding of justice. He sought to establish a legal system that was fair, equitable, and above all, just. His laws were so well crafted and balanced that they continued to be used for centuries, even after his death. These reforms not only transformed the Ottoman legal system, but also had a profound impact on future generations. Suleiman's vision of justice still resonates in the legal principles of many societies today. Under Suleiman's reign, the Ottoman Empire experienced a cultural renaissance. The skyline of Istanbul transformed with architectural wonders that still inspire awe today. Literature flourished, with poets and writers pushing boundaries of expression. Calligraphy, too, reached new heights of intricacy and beauty, becoming an art form in its own right. The cultural advancements under Suleiman's rule continue to be admired and studied to this day. Suleiman was not just a warrior. 
he was also a shrewd diplomat. His reign saw him form surprising alliances, not the least of which were those with France and the Papal States. These were not just random acts of diplomacy, but strategic moves aimed at protecting Ottoman interests in Europe. By aligning with these powers, he brought a balance to the shifting dynamics of the time. His diplomatic foresight helped maintain the balance of power and protect Ottoman interests. In 1566, the life of Suleiman the Magnificent came to a close. His final campaign led him to the battlefields of Hungary, where he breathed his last. His passing was more than just a personal loss. It signified the end of a vibrant chapter in the annals of the Ottoman Empire. The Golden Age, marked by cultural flourishing, territorial expansion, and legal innovation, was at an end. Suleiman's death marked the end of an era of unprecedented prosperity and growth for the Ottoman Empire. Suleiman's reign left an enduring legacy that continues to be felt today. His vision shaped the Ottoman Empire, leaving a mark on the world stage. The majestic architecture that graces Istanbul, the timeless art and the legal principles he established are all part of his enduring legacy. His reign was not just a period of power and conquest, but also of cultural flourishing and legal reform. Suleiman's legacy is a testament to his extraordinary rule and the golden age of the Ottoman Empire. Suleiman the Magnificent was a ruler of unparalleled brilliance. His ascension, military conquests, legal reforms, cultural flourishing, and strategic alliances left a lasting legacy. His reign symbolizes the golden age of the Ottoman Empire, an era that continues to captivate historians and enthusiasts alike.